we start with one of our charts just i want to give a quick update and if we refer to our analysis since the price was within here we have been looking for buy and this is what we get and the price tag the first target at 18.4 and we see the price drop after that because if we refer to our analysis we mentioned first we're looking for buy with the breakout of the previous stop then if it turns to a corrective move then from there we can look for sell as we can see the price tag first target then we see this one for me i didn't get any opportunity for sell because from what i can see based on one hour chart we didn't have any trade setup for sell but what's the next if the price continue and drop from here i just let it go unless we see the deeper correction we see the confirmation for sell but we are not really interested for sell we are not really i mean i'm not really interested to look for sell what i'm looking for i want to see whether we can put this one in relative to this as a long running flat any opportunity for buy from here, I will take it. This is what I'm looking for, all right? And if I see any reversal, any opportunity for buy, I will take it. And we want to see whether the price can break this zone or not. And still, we can look for 18.14 following by 19.5 as a target. But at this point, I don't see any reversal, any trade setup for buy. And we move to daily chart. And based on daily chart, if you refer to our analysis, we mentioned we're looking for the reversal as a long term. That's why if you get any opportunity for buy, we take it. And the targets we're looking for is 60, 36 flowing by 42. But we mentioned we can expect the price to consolidate here for a longer time. That's why I mentioned if you get any opportunity for buy, if it doesn't move in our direction, we should know how to manage it. We shouldn't keep the trade if it doesn't move in our direction. All right. And if we move to forward chart, right now I'm looking at this. Any reversal, any opportunity for buy, I will take it. Then, if that's mean if we get one more up, we look for buy. We consider this one as a one, two, three. Then, if you see the price couldn't break this one or break the previous stop, that tends to corrective move. Then I put this one in relative to this for the next draw. This is where I will look for sell. All right. And even we want to, if we want to put this one as a three waves, since based on one hour chart, make it doesn't show us a divergence, the possibility for this one to drop and break the previous low, which is this one is really less. That's why even if the price drop for me, I'm not looking for sell because even if you want to look for sell, we didn't have any opportunity for buy within this one based on one hour chart. That's meaning from now we have to look for the trade setup and in terms of the risk and reward, it doesn't give us any opportunity. I mean, good trade. Right, that's why I mentioned if you want to look for sell from here, we have to wait unless we see the proper trade setup, setup that we see the confirmation for continuation. All right, anyway, at this point, I'm looking for buy. If I see any opportunity for buy, I will take it. And if the price drop, I just let it go. Unless I see some changes or update, then I will share. Thanks.